You're the freaking best. That's Aww. all. You're damn right. Oh, you know what? What? What's going? Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm and this is the bonus episode called Farewell and uh, this is going to be taking a look at Max and Chloe when they were 13 years old. This is before Max moves away to Seattle so I am prepared to cry because these two are my absolute favorite and their relationship is very meaningful to me so I'm probably going to start bawling by the end of this but um... The most exciting part of this as well is the fact that the original voice actors from the original Life is Strange game are back to voice Max and Chloe. So Hannah Tell and Ashley Birch are going to be voicing Max and Chloe. So I'm excited to see them together again. All right, let's start. Oh, I like how cute it is. It's all like pirate themed. Oh, okay, here we go. Is this like the giant Barbie doll heads? Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought it was- you know those giant Barbie doll heads back in the day where you, you could do, like, makeup on them and stuff like that? Those, those are really creepy. <laughs> They're blowing up dolls! Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. Uh, okay. I think she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. Yep. Chloe's a science nerd. Oh my god, I'm so happy that they're together again. Ah! And of course Chloe would be the one to like blow up the, the Barbie dolls, you know? <laughs> oh, it didn't work? Okay, never mind! <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! You're insane! That was amazing! I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm more amazed at the fact she didn't blow a hole in her floor like Max was just saying. That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. They're both so innocent here. Oh my but god. she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning, too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Okay. So we're gonna clean Chloe's room? Cool! Maybe we can just, like, we'll find some cool old stuff, right? It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. Probably because I have. Ah, the Max inner monologue. It's been so long. Those days are all over now. There's the picture of the three of them over there with her dad. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. I'm assuming she didn't tell this her, right? Because, like, you know, goodbye. in the first game. She didn't really tell but Chloe she's how leaving. You tell your best friend that you're yeah. leaving. Yeah. Bonus episode farewell. You know, I, I I feel like people give Max a lot of shit because she left, you know, Chloe. And I'm not saying like she did it the right way, but I understand I why she's so me. afraid to tell Chloe that she's leaving. Well, and this is like before, like let's say now, before her father passed away, like it's difficult to say it to Chloe because she has a very strong personality and she reacts the way she does, like overreacting or whatever. So I can see why Max is so scared because Max is very timid, you know? So I don't really blame her for that. Also, she's a kid, so I don't know why everyone was like getting angry at her. She's a kid. She doesn't know what she's doing. Chloe, teddy bear. Okay, we have to clean up uh, Chloe's room, right? Oopsies, board game? What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. We never play. Wait, you beat me? <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. <laughs> Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Oh. 
Fine, I guess we're keeping the board game. Oh, okay, let's see what else is up here. This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. Oh, they, sn we they snuck out to a concert. Show huh. next month, but... How sick was that show? <sighs> the sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How about you? Oh Maybe dear god. You remember Max dancing? Uh yeah, totally. I have yeah, one. Totally. I've been working on my hair. <laughs> so <time>. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Back to the junk mines. All right. What a bunch of nerds. All right. Oh, she still has a unicorn poster. Chloe's totally makes Chloe's still gay. It doesn't matter. She's you. still gay. <laughs> God oh, damn, Chloe's girl, fold your clothes too. Wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. <laughs> okay, what else is up here? Comic strip. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope the Dr. Adventure... Einstein's okay. Einstein? The Adventurous Adventures of Supermax and Dr. Chloe Stein. Uh, our crime fighting has really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier. Dr. Chloe Stein? Oh, shit. You know, I know it's- it's like, she- she blasted off into space and whatever, but you can see how, like, that foreshadows the fact that Max is gonna be alone without Chloe for a few years? Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Alright, let's look Chloe at the skateboard. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Hey, isn't that Max's bag in there? Wait, did she get it from Chloe? Or is that like... Huh, that's interesting. Okay, let's see what's in the drawer here. What the hell is that? Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Whoa, is just drawing boobs on people? Like, what's happening now? Shady Mesh Abe. Okay, let's just throw this out. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. You know, I used to actually have those, like, for in sync when I was a kid. Uh, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Sharpie boob jobs, funny back then. Nice boob jobs. You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. What, we're not throwing them out? <laughs> oh god, okay. I guess we're just gonna keep that there. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Let's open up this. What is that? We bought this as a gag years ago. Oh, ew, is that like, I you know the, too, what do you call it, Jawbreaker? Is that, is that what it's called? I, 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 like, so a friend gave me one, like, I don't understand how you eat them. Like, you, you keep, you keep it until it's done? Like, that's so gross. What about this half-eaten Jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Ew, no, Chloe Tyson, that's so gross! Your mom and your dentist will thank me. <laughs> so lame. Just so lame. <laughs> oh my god, that's so gross. I'm yeah, sorry, Chloe, but I'm gonna have to I not let that slide because that's just too much. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Yeah, because she she's so super tall. Oh, look at that shark! I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. <laughs> Mr. Sharky. Let's see so if she cares about Mr. Sharky. What I think oh, she does. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. 
Okay, we're keeping Sorry, Mr. Sharky. Well, better. <laughs> yeah, Chloe's definitely a, a sort of person who doesn't throw shit away. I mean, aside the fact that her room is a fucking mess, but I mean, like, she's very, like, sentimental about her stuff. People say a lot Chloe of Price. things about the Prescott family, oh. but this is pretty cool. Oh, well, that's that's a little bit different. Prescott, huh? Hmm. Except this letter. Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. To the parents of Chloe Price, dear parents, congratulations! Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted to uh, for September two thousand and eight admission to Blackwell Academy. Oh, damn! We have offered places to approximately a hundred students out of twelve hundred applications. Your child excelled in, in criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March twenty sixth. April 2nd is the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's Office of Financial Assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to Blackwell Academy uh, family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez. Yeah, so since, you know, Blackwell's like an art, artsy school and it's very fancy and whatever, I so... I can't mm. believe you're... Black but Will people keep forgetting, Chloe's see. actually really a smart student. She Chloe was a straight-A student before everything happened to her. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. What's, what's wrong? Push Chloe, further. you're terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just, I like hanging out with normal people. Like, you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean, <laughs> I, I hate fake people. You're real. She Thanks. sounds like Rachel there. Whoa. Remember what Rachel said to Chloe? Like, I like you, Chloe, because you're real. Damn! Okay, well, that's interesting. Parallels right there. Okay, what else? Oh, the camera! Hey. What's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. Uh-oh, Max is gonna use it! <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> oh, nice one. Start. <laughs> what does she look like in that? Actually, it's kind of cool. Cool. Okay. Let's see. Let's open up this. Oh yeah, magic. Cause she was into that kind of stuff. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. <laughs> this seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic. See, she doesn't want to throw anything away. Of allowances cost? It's so you never used it. Come on, Chloe. You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't <laughs> saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? I'm Finally, she, she never said it. Her secrets. Put it back. We're never gonna win. She's just never gonna throw anything away. Oh my god. The only thing we throw away is like disgusting jawbreaker. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Yeah, see, she was a straight A, well, except for physical education, but whatever. She's still a straight A student and she's very smart. Dang. Firecracker remains. Can we throw that away? Chloe's grades are better. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? Only Chloe. <laughs> I guess we're not cleaning that. Just leave that there. Hey, let's lie down in Chloe's bed. I mean, it's fine. We're not really cleaning anyway. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's 
always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. Yeah, I can agree with that. Um, but what I was gonna say is, uh, with with Max being so timid and shy, and she's afraid of hurting Chloe's feelings, because at this point in time, Chloe hasn't really experienced any pain yet, so she's always, like, the happy-go-lucky kind of person anyway, regardless of, like, her, you know, what happened to her father and all that stuff. Uh, she's always been like that, and I, I don't think she's experienced, like, extreme sadness or anything like that so max is just trying to keep her like oh it's okay like i don't want to tell my best friend i'm leaving obviously because i don't want to make her sad i'm pretty sure the people you care about and you love you don't want to make them sad and max is definitely the type of person who wants to please everybody like i could tell in the first game that's what she was trying to do right to make everybody happy to make everyone you know um everything fair for everyone else and she kind of disregards her own feelings and whether you were trying to save Chloe or not, it's still, uh, like, evident that Max was trying to do everything for her or do everything for the people she cared about because she's that kind of person. And, like, which is good. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I feel bad for Max, too, because she never, you know, had the time to, like, think about herself because she was always thinking about other people. So this must be, like, a real thing for her because if you remember she really she really did like seattle she, she was telling chloe that she enjoyed going to seattle going to the school there going whatever it was good there even though they were apart and i think that was the first time she actually enjoyed herself and her life and what she was becoming and i guess she, she didn't want to talk to chloe in that like five year gap because she didn't know how to approach her anymore she didn't want to say to chloe like oh i, I want to talk to her because she doesn't know if, like, Chloe will accept Max the way she is. Because, like she said, Chloe's the one who starts everything. She's the one who brings them wherever, you know, on their adventures or what the, what to do. Max just follows Chloe. And uh, I think her in her new life, Max becomes a leader, but she doesn't know how to, you know, uh, throw that off with Chloe because she's a leader type too. And she thinks that she's not going to accept her. At least that's what I, how I see. I really wish she at least, like, you know, texted her more than what we saw in Before the Storm, because that was really sad. She only texted her, like, a couple of times and then completely stopped talking to her. Anyway, I think we're done looking at her room, because clearly Chloe does not want to throw anything away. So, oh, hey, hoodie. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd need to throw it away. We'll save it for her. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It's, it's, it's fine. Are you sure? It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. I feel like it, she's hiding something. <laughs> well, I mean, I, we could still save it, but I guess not. Okay, let's uh, talk to Chloe now. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Oh, oh, we're actually gonna tell her? Oh no, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, we should say it now, but I feel like, oh, God damn it. But I feel like, yeah, I get the point where Max is like, maybe we should let her enjoy herself first and then tell her by the end of the day. But I don't know. I feel like Max needs to be honest with Chloe. So like, you know, there's some like, Revelation there. I'm gonna tell her! <laughs> Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... Uh, I... Don't know how Holy to... shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have and she's listening. Great. Here. 
What? Do you have any idea what this is? I related. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our. Oh, that sucks. Tape. I Chloe didn't How like take it seriously or as with that. As ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old. That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Long Matt Silver. You're so cute. You are such dorks. So, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek. <laughs> See mine eyes, but. <laughs> what Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of... <laughs> Treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those <laughs> with pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> so we're going on a treasure hunt? And uh, why? <laughs> Dude, that was... <laughs> you know what? That was amazing. Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> See what I mean? She's so sentimental. She's not gonna throw away Today, anything. we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Aww. Yep. Now let's see this map. Okay. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. Keep out, Mom. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. The Bane of Arcadia. So this is their ship, what it looks like, and standard ship, a lot of skulls on it, of course, because pirates. Oh, look how cute! Bluebeard and long max silver, oh my god, they're so adorable. Pogo the pirate, that's our, that's our Bongo, right? <laughs> the gang. I like how they gave a Bo um, Bongo uh, an eye patch. Pirate rules. No bathing. No boys on the ship. No boys on the ship. Oh my god. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey the rules will result in plank walking. Captain's log. Oh god, what a dork. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high sea. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelly, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure, treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it because our enemies want the treasure so bad. We must make sure the map is only readable to us, Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and riches, Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. <laughs> this looks like a page was ripped out. Oh. I wonder if it's the map. Most likely, yes. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe. Oh, we gotta no. look for it? <laughs> All she cares about is finding this man. Yeah, I feel kind of bad because we were supposed she to tell and then Chloe wouldn't listen to her. I guess, I, I mean, I guess I was, you know, trying to force us to say like, hey, we should tell Chloe later. 
But she doesn't tell Chloe. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. Oh, I Shelley is their enemy. Like, that's their teacher. From that year. Oh my god. Chloe Price, Miss Shelley, 100% great job. As always, Chloe, now please try to pay attention in class instead of drawing pictures of Maxine. <laughs> of course. I miss the days when this was considered homework. Max and Chloe's sewer adventures. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me read this. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends of stu and students in in school. You sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It's so cute. Do you pe want to pet it? Oh, and then you pick the page. If you want to pet the squirrel, go to page eight. If you don't want to pet to it, oh, I remember those books. We used to make those, like, I used to make those too uh, when I was a kid. Just like, if you want to do this, go to page whatever. <laughs> That's funny. Damn, this book is so long. Okay, wait, I want to see what the teacher says. This is so inventive, Maxine and Chloe, but next time, please do the book report you were assigned, Miss Anders. <laughs> they didn't even do it, they just yes. wrote a book. Take that, Rat King. That's really cute. Okay. Ooh, a photo. All right, we have the camera now. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Aww, pose with Chloe. For hey, let's pose with Chloe. I think that would be smart to do it with her. How's the look? Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. That's cute. Wait, do we have not? Oh, we don't have a journal. I was gonna say maybe we can look at like stuff, but I guess not. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Oh, hey, there's the map. Bingo. Yep, that's it. That's the map. Okay, so Chloe's secret lair, which I assume is a room or something else, her backyard. Go to the dark cave, the amulets in there, Treasure Island, and Price Castle. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, a.k.a. the attic. Ugh, why <laughs> do we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Uh, so is it still there? You think it's still there? Should be, as long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope... We use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. All right, cool. I'm going to the creepy attic. Sorry. Thanks. Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! <laughs> I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. Oh, God. She's not going this to, though. This has to be my last day here. Might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. So get to the attic, so there's really like nothing else we can do, right? Okay, I, I got it. Loose post. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. <laughs> Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. That's sweet. Chloe's actually a really nice friend to, to Max. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. Eerie. Foreshadowing she will. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. Okay, would it be weird if I just came into the room? I mean, Max is pretty much snooping in every game, so I don't think it matters. Okay. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Oh, really? 
The College of Arcadia's Early Childhood Education Certification Program. Take the first step, be the first step, early childhood education stuff for a long time. If this is what you want, find a way to make it work. Huh, that's nice. Low strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool? Oh, it's Chloe's so dad. <laughs> at the same time. Okay, what's that? Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Oh, no. Oh. Because remember, they were trying to go to Paris, but they couldn't afford it. Oh, my God. Maybe this is William's way of saying, hey, we could go at least somewhere else. And then he dies. Oh, he's such what the fuck, dude? I bet she's going to love it. Oh, that's sad. What the hell? What is this? Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Oh, okay. Hmm. And then she didn't because of what happened. Anyway, before I use the computer, let me look what else oh, is here. Chloe's parents are so cute. With William and Chloe. Yep, that's cute. I, I think I'm stuck. Max, get out! <laughs> The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. What is that? Is that a picture of so Chloe? so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Aww, that's sweet. That's nice. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. Yikes. You'll pay with your life and it's a car, yep. Foreshadowing, that's lovely. I always like lovely. to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. Like Narnia? Okay, let's look at the computer. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Price. I'd like to begin by saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. However, it seems like she's having trouble transitioning into this new, a more challenging environment. I'm emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I'm very concerned about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you to take steps to correct it as soon as possible. I'm sure you are dedicated to Chloe's success as we are. The future needs excellence regards Ray Wells. Whoa! Wait, so she, was she like acting out? I think that's what it means. I think because like of all the people there, she didn't. She doesn't really fit in. And then also she doesn't have Max with her to like back her up. Because if you remember, Chloe doesn't have friends when she's at Blackwell. She's like a loner. Maybe she's getting bullied. I don't know. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out that day if you ask me. Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Maybe if both sides of the stories were heard before placing blame, your school would be less challenging environment for your students. Focus on your school, I'll focus on my daughter. Shit, William, nice! It's true though, like, I remember he was like, I think Ray, Ray stereotyping Chloe because, you know, she comes from a, like, a low-income family. Like, fuck you, dude. Not everyone is, like, a bully from a low-income family. What a jackass. Voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. These types of people are exactly why I didn't want Chloe at Blackwell. I'll figure this out, I promise. I love you, too. Oh, it's Joyce. I forgot to tell you, Miss Rogers called while we were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answering machine, but please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. Uh, we need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship is in danger, but I still worry. Love you. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Hey, Erin. Finally used your pressure washer today, and I wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our dream house, but it can still be at least the right color. If you want to come over next week and give me a hand, there will be a cold beer for you. Give me a call. Hope everything at work is going well. Tell Linda I say hello, William. So this is uh, William's brother. He's writing to. Ooh, we can actually look at the messages. Okay, we're going to look at that uh, and then see what happens. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh, what's this? Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Yeah, of course you don't. All right, what else? Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Aww. Well, I used to. 
Oh, that's so nice of Joyce. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Hair dye blonde? Wait, so does Chloe dye her hair? What, what does that mean? I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Alright, let's go into the broom closet. There it is. The dark cavern. There it is. <laughs> Crap. She's too short. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Let's take the crate. Just be careful when you step on those. I remember in my old job, like, when I had to, like, pick up stuff on, like, that was too high for me. Like, Max here, I'm sh very short. I used those crates. Ah, uh, sometimes they break. Just, just saying. <laughs> She's still too short. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Can we, can we use anything in here? No? Oh, okay, other stuff, huh? Uh, is there anything in the bathroom we can borrow? Ah, here we go. Perfect. Almost there. I just need a few more inches. Really? What else can I stack on top? Ah, here we go. Some books. Probably gonna ruin them, but it's okay. Oh my I goodness, Max, better be careful work. with this. I feel like she's gonna slip or something. Oh my goodness. And now we're in the creepy attic. Uh, is that like a what? rock band behind her or something? I saw a giant spider, by the way, on that web, so that's nice. Yup. Nice. Creepy. Love it. There we go, that's much better. Man, yeah, we can see stuff. There is a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. <laughs> cool. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way let's, through. Let's look at all the stuff first. What is this? No Sharpie boob jobs. Hm. Disappointing. This looks like an 80s band. <laughs> Okay, so just need to crawl my way over here. There's Chloe's crib. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. Yeah, I can see that too. Cool, TV. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. <gasps> the land before time! I love that movie! Okay, the amulet's over there, but that's so cool. All right. You gotta- you gotta move, chair. You gotta move. Excuse me. Well, I guess this thing's giving all that box. What is in there? I think I can squeeze through now. Alright. Squeeze through. Be careful, Max! I feel like at this time I would bump my head on the beam supports or something. There it is. Okay, wait. Uh, snoop around some more. Christmas box. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. <laughs> I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. Aww. She really loved her fish then. Okay. Some more stuff. Furniture. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Pull. Keep it moving, desk. You hit something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, she hit it. Crap. This is so difficult. Okay, let's see if I can pull this out. 
Poor Max, she has to move all these damn furniture pieces out of the way. And she's so tiny. Okay. Oh no! There we go. Alright, let's pull this thing out of the way. Uh, Old timey cola. Why do they have these things? Can we get through now? Yes. Alright, perfect. Just uh, squeeze on through here. There we go, the freaking amulet. What even is it? I know, like, they put wires over it, but I mean, what's those the circle bar? Is it like a disc? <laughs> Ooh, photograph. This is a nice close up shot. Alright, we got. Ooh, we can take a look at the amulet stuff. There's the picture at the side. Oh, that's so cute! So they stick, stick whatever photos Max takes onto the thing. There's no, like, actual menu for, you know, the photos. All right. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Oh my god. <laughs> what a dork! <laughs> Chloe Price. My best friend. It's so weird being back in his attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. Yeah, and so... Spiders. And spiders. <laughs> so yeah, she's afraid of hurting Chloe. That's why she's taking so damn long to say anything to her. <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag. And Chloe's so, like, carefree at this point. I'm gonna miss her. All right, let's join Chloe. Are you just watching me up there, creeper? <laughs> uh, share your feelings, act natural. Hey, share my feelings. You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. Okay. <laughs> On my way. All right. Amulet check. Dude, you did it. No big deal. <laughs> Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Before we walk the plank, let's look at things I'm over here. I'm really going to miss Price family barbecues. I was hoping we could actually go to the answering machine to listen to the message uh, Joyce and William were talking about. All I'm saying is, I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. It, it was just like a woodish kind of color. One time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on <laughs> was a lot more fun than taking it off. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Oh, Bongo Kitty. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. 
What's that? I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. Oh, never mind. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird we're at different schools now. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. Ooh, throw. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. How is it bouncing on the grass? Again, what? <laughs> buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this all selfish of me? Why is this making me feel more guilty about leaving? Because she's, she's going to become her own person. And she's never experienced that. I'm pretty sure that's why she feels so guilty How about it. Am I going What's up, dude? Hey, Bro. Chloe. Hey, Max. How do you tell Chloe now? Dweeb. Dweeb. Actually, I meant dweeb. Dork. <laughs> doofus. <laughs> doofus. Only doofuses say doofus. You know what, Max Caulfield? What, Chloe Price? You're the freaking best. Oh, you're damn weird. Oh, you know what? What? What's going? Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I love them so much. I want to ask her where that where that came from, but it's true. Max is the best friend. She's a great friend. I know she's done a lot of mistakes, but like we can all agree that Max is a very good friend to Chloe. But I want to ask her. Talk about mushy. Where'd that come from? I was just thinking about how awesome this day is. And how awesome we are. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. Oh my god, my heart. I love these two so much. What the hell is this? Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it how I lost my magnifying glass privilege. Oh, <laughs> great art is never appreciated. So she melted that. Like, at least she's not melting ants with that, because that's like pretty bad. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's rum for me. Do you drink this? Yar. She did? I'm not surprised. No, not really. I had to fish an empty oh, okay. bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Okay, what else is on here? Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. Hey, let's take a picture hey, of Chloe. Chloe. Yar. Land ho. They're so adorable. Perfect. Take a look at that picture. How does she look? Good, good. I like it. <laughs> I wish I could freeze this moment and never have to leave it. All right, let's give the. Oh, we can. Can we look at this? Oh, there we go. Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. I never understood why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? Toy cannon. This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, I can. Yeah, because you is that a kite up there? <laughs> Are you ever gonna get your kite down from the roof? It's hot it dog man! Free. I set it free. You must be a hero to kites everywhere. 
Okay, let's give the amulet to Chloe. Wait just a minute. Yar, you must ask permission before setting foot or er, peg on another captain's boat. My the door uh, permission to come aboard. <laughs> permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard. Granted. One amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... Ah, damn it. I forget how to make this s stay on. Stay here. I think I saw some tape. Oh, right, the, the painter's Thanks, tape. Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. Let me just grab this. Score. One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few yeah, weeks. Yeah, in a few weeks, and Max won't be here! Ha! <laughs> okay, here's the tape. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were going to be pirates forever. Oh, <laughs> it's like I really want to be like more honest with Chloe, but I feel so bad. Ugh. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. <sighs> Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait. How am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with... something? Okay, uh... Okay. This drawing is supposed to line up with something. I think I gotta rotate it this way, because it's kind of upside down. So... The drawing with the land should line up with something, right? Is it? There we go. Got it. <laughs> yes, you rock. Where is it? Here. Okay, you gotta go right a little bit. Okay, take a step right. Oh Here shit! I I keep forgetting. It's other right. <laughs> my other right or your other. My right. <laughs> my other right. Got it. Wait, what? <laughs> go that way. There we go. Now come towards me. There. Bingo. Did they really bury it in their backyard? Oh my god. major deja vu when they were digging up the junkyard remember that oh god what is this i i don't know let's open it huh from bloody bill who's that i'll get the tape layer oh my god did william actually like give them a surprise Oh my god, that's so nice! <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. Oh, that's so nice of him! 
I'm gonna cry again! <laughs> Walkers, <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary, I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's so sweet. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! <laughs> oh, this isn't there. It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. The Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <laughs> There's a butterfly on her letter! Ugh, Maxine? Okay, let's see. Dear Chloe, how are you today? I am doing very well. It is Friday, June 27, 2003. It is summer vacation. We are making a time capsule for you and me in the future. We are making pirate theme. Wasn't it hilarious to find? These are some of the things we like. Favorite animal, Arabian horse for Max. Otter for Chloe. Huh. Really? Because remember, she likes sharks afterwards, and then, you know, Max like otters. I bet that's so cute. Okay, favorite food, lobster roll for Max, and coffee, ice cream for Chloe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Favorite class in school, art of art or library for Max, science for Chloe. Best friends, each other, both. Aw. How about you? Are you age 12 or more? What are your favorite foods, movies, etc.? That's all for now. I hope you're having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Sincerely, Maxine Caulfield. <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. Dear Maxine, hello from 2003. Here is a record of how we spent our days. Can you guess which one is real? Oh, okay, something's fake. We go to the same school and always sit together at lunch. Duh. We have sleepovers at least once a week. We like extremely salty pretzels. We are in a race to see who can convince your parents to get a pet first. We are going to live together when we can afford it and use only gold paint, uh, okay? And we are going to battle many foes and never fail to save each other. What did you guess? If you guess all of them, you're right. Your friend forever, Chloe Elizabeth Price. Aww, that's so cute, too. You're really funny. Hey, you're really sweet, Chloe, honestly. You're really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. <laughs> this is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. Wait! I'm gonna draw something. No. No, 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 okay, never mind. I was about to say, was this when, like, William left to be f to pick up uh, Joyce? No, never mind, because she was wearing the blue shirt, remember? So it's not. Okay. Love these memories. We can look at all this stuff. Let's Sweet. Look Let's look at, at everything. Billy the Squid. It's good to see you, old friend. Looks like Billy's doing okay, and... Recording things was so much fun in third grade. These are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. The chopper. Flaming fingers. Flint and steel. So you go like this, and then you have, like, fire on your... <laughs> That's so dumb. I love it. Okay. Our time capsule was such a good idea. Predictions. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. 
predictions so hard for the to future. the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. Ironically, as she says that before she gets time powers. Anyway, by Chloe and Maxine, we still hang out by each other more than more than with any other person. Both of us are medium popular. Both of us are dating our second boyfriend. Oh my god. We do not make decisions about without consulting each other. The talking skull of our enemies. Both of us have a pet. Chloe has visited Art Antica and Max could come if she wanted to. One of us has a little sister or brother. We are doing well in school. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. Maybe you should come down in the power of flight and off this dude's face so he killed somebody? Is that what happened? <laughs> okay, what else is in here? This container looks like it could last a hundred years. Ooh, sh okay, so let's take a look at the stuff we here. always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. Oh, Manga might be the one thing where Chloe out nerds me. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> they love manga so much. Tidy up, you know what? Let's do that. Max is a good kid. There, that, that much looks better. much better. Maybe Joyce won't be so angry with all this mess we made. <laughs> no. That was a good week. I used every possible excuse to be here for breakfast. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. You're loving wifey. Aw, so you got a promotion recently. I always look especially short next to Chloe. Oh shit, that's the picture. That's the picture when- oh wow, okay. But isn't that the morning of like when they- wait, is it actually today? Like this is the I day like William dies? I can't tell because Max is wearing something different. Also, Chloe is too. Maybe they just changed, right? I don't freaking know, I'm so confused right now. Okay, well. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess- Compared to that, Seattle's not so far. These used to make great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. Okay, I'm gonna save that phone message. Wait, can I look at it actually? I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but... Can we tell Chloe to get out? Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. Yikes. Okay, hang on. Let me look at more stuff, and then I'm gonna check out that voicemail. Ah, <gasps> the dough! There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. Hey, little guy. <laughs> Aren't you cold in there? You sure were troublesome to find. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. Oh, the stain, Chloe the wine stain. Saw that wine months ago. But I still feel bad about it. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? <laughs> oh, that's what they could have done, you know? You could you could have like, you know, friends, like you could still hang out in the MMO world. Oh come on, I did that. Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. Oh geez. Allowance. Allowance gift from grandma, allowance, dad's pointing assistant, and allowance. Huh. Save 60%, spend 40. Interesting.
I bet there's some really cute photos in there. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. That's so cute! Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Maybe I'm worrying too much about this move changing things. Oh, they're cookies. Halloween 2002. What is Max? Is she like a sheep or something? I don't even know who she is. Oh, and they braided their hair. Ah, this is too much. I'm gonna cry. Uh, I keep messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. <laughs> Chloe looks so content when she's drawing. Is that what I look like when I'm taking pictures? Take a picture of Chloe. Pose with Chloe. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna Take pose with Chloe break. as much as possible. I don't really care. <laughs> this artist waits for no stop. That was worth stopping for. Aww. Alright, let's take a look at that picture. They're so cute! Look at them! Okay. I, guess I should try talking to Chloe again. Are we just taking pictures of everything that we can find? Yes. Pose for a photo with that? Okay. Tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. She's recreating Very the cute. picture from her album. You're not so bad yourself. Ooh! <laughs> They're both cute. Ah, that's so adorable. I love it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Okay, um... Uh, it says talk to Chloe, but would I be able to check the messages afterwards? I don't even know. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's try talking to Chloe. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? Not yet, Not no. Yet. I was just saying hi. Cool. Oh, this scratch pad is seriously great. Okay, so I, we can actually, like, take a look at the message. Okay, let's see what happens. This is Ann Rogers, Marissa's mother. Marissa from Blackwell. I need to talk to you about what your daughter did to Marissa in class today. I'll be keeping Marissa home with me tomorrow. Hey, hold on. Are you serious? I don't want my parents to hear that. I've never gotten in trouble like this before. They already know. I, um, I saw an email on your parents' computer. Shit. What happened, Chloe? What happened? Something so minor. Her mom is exaggerating. I bet Marissa told her that I... I'm telling you, it's stupid. Chloe, it's fine. You come, come on, on, tell me. You've got to tell me what happened. I'm your best friend. Man, none of this would have happened if I had you around. I wouldn't care what anyone said. Uh, sorry. I don't mean it's your fault. I... Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I... Turned up her Bunsen burner in science. Just a little. What? No one got hurt. Not even close. You know that I know what I'm doing. Chloe. What do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and... Calling me a So she's getting kid. bullied. Is that why you wanted to throw away your hoodie? Don't worry. I'll keep it. Oh, what the fuck? 
the one that's, that's why I'm like, why is she being so sad about throwing away her hoodie? They were making fun of her because she's the poor kid once again. Fuck you guys. Are you serious? Koa, you can handle this though. Come on. You don't need to like let them get to you. Hey, you can handle this. You're so much cooler than she is. <laughs> Just to you. Thanks, Max. Oh, I feel bad. What? Don't bully my girl. Are you kidding me right now? It's not her fault, though. So I don't really blame her for doing that. I mean, she shouldn't retaliate, but it's Chloe, right? She's not gonna, like, back down from anyone. Time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what the heck? Max first tattoo. Ow! <laughs> I remember I used to have these like uh, sketchbooks. They're like scratch paper. Like uh, there's a bunch of colors underneath, and you just have to like scratch the surface when you're drawing and stuff. They're really cool. What tattoo am I getting? A heart with my initials. Duh. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Machine is alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to you tell gotta say it. Leaving. We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? With Chloe even uh... She's already got enough drama from Blackwell. Max? Yeah, but hiding it from her is not a good it's idea. It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Tell her. You have to. Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really. Soon. Hey. In three days, right? What? Huh? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding. Oh, so that she knew already. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. Not the end of the world. Why did you pretend I should have told you earlier? Wait, why didn't you say anything? Why did you pretend like you didn't know? I don't know. I, I guess... I guess I didn't want it to be true. We were both doing it, weren't we? All that pirate stuff, doing the treasure hunt. Wasn't that fun? Of course, but... Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so I just left it alone. Oh my god, they're doing it again, both of them. They were just being considerate of each other. Max trying not to hurt hurt uh, Chloe, and Chloe trying not to hurt Max too by talking about it because she knows Max isn't like, you know, confrontational stuff. Oh my god, they're both so sweet to each other. Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together having fun. I'm worried I won't be okay. Oh my god, we'll keep in touch and visit. Dude, no. Because even if I say that, it's just like fucked up because Max didn't even do that. And Chloe tried so hard to like talk to her for a year and then she didn't answer anything. And it's true. Maybe I think Max is more worried she's not going to be okay because she's not going to be with Chloe. 
So I'm going to say that instead because I feel like that's so cruel to say, we'll keep in touch and I'll visit because it doesn't come true. So I'll just say the other. I'm so worried that I won't be okay without you. Hey, stop that. Of course you'll be okay. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. Oh god, it's my true. eyes are starting to water. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. Okay. <gasps> oh no! So I was right, this is the day William died! That's the first time we actually seen them in the game.
the time. And then you'll come visit and it'll be like I never left. I mean it. You don't have to worry about anything changing. You're dealing with so much other stuff. You don't deserve any of this. Chloe, listen. Even if I never left. with her and then Chloe was waiting for her the entire time. <laughs> oh god damn it! What did I say? I was gonna like end up bawling my head through this fucking episode. Fucking god damn it, what'd you guys do to me? Deck nine, how could you? <laughs> oh god. That was so sad. I didn't like that. <laughs> Why did it end there? <laughs> I just made it weird. It's like it's like the way that they end with like Rachel in the dark room. <laughs> like why the fuck did they do that? Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay, you guys gotta give me like a second to like pull my shit together. Oh god damn it. Oh. <sighs> well. That was the bonus episode. Like I said, I knew I was gonna ball my eyes out because I love Max and Chloe so much. And then, um, because I relate to Chloe so much, just so seeing her like fucking break down at the end of that and having like Max not there anymore is just fucking heartbreaking. And then we also know what happened to her after that, which is even more fucked up. So, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Deck Nine, for making me cry. Um,. So anyway, uh, so this is actually, I, I'm pretty sure this is the last time we're actually going to see Chloe and Max together because I know the original game developers for Life is Strange, Don't Not Entertainment, is making Life is Strange Season 2 and it's going to be on new characters, which sucks because I really love Chloe and Max and I want to see them again, but I'm, I'm more excited to see what, you know, new characters they'll, they'll come up with it and what, like, new story and, and you know, powers and stuff like that, so... I, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen, but I'm even though this wasn't made by the original creators, I'm still glad that Deck Nine made this episode, you know, for Max and Chloe, because there was never, like, real closure with them, I want to say, or at least there wasn't enough, uh, for them to say, like, oh, I'm, I'm satisfied with the end, with, with the, the way that the story ends, because I know a lot of people were, like, upset about it. For, per for me personally, I was fine, but it's nice to see that there's more to this um than just like oh what happened to max and chloe but you can see how much they really love each other regardless of like all the bullshit they've been through not regardless of all the mistakes max did she still loves chloe she's it's it's never she's never gonna like stop loving her but she's just trying to be her own person because she's a kid right and she's at that stage of like her life where she wants to choose and do what she wants Whereas Chloe is not ready to do that. I can I can completely say that she's not ready to do that at all. Which is why I think she was, like, letting the people who were bullying her at school bother her so much. Um, but, oh my god. Why do they have to end it on William fucking dying after listening to the fucking time capsule too? Jesus Christ. But I'm so glad that there was an option, like, you tell her or don't. And then I I, the, I think the shocking part for me was that Chloe already knew that Max was moving. I legit thought from playing the original game that, you know, Max didn't say anything to her. Um, she just kind of said it on the last day and she left. I didn't think, like, Chloe already knew because she, like, you know, overheard her parents talking about it and whatever. Um, but I didn't think she knew that. So that was, that was an interesting twist, but once again, I was so happy to have Hannah Tell and Ashley Birch voicing them again. It makes it even more, like, emotional for me, because they're the original voice actors, you know? So it's just like, wow, uh, they've come, like, this far with the story. And it's nice that, to know that Ashley Birch actually wrote for Before the Storm, so, um, she knows very, you know, Chloe very well since she, she plays her, so... It's it's nice that this is a bonus episode, but god damn it, why do I have to break my heart like that? 
Oh, God. Okay. Well, um, I guess this comes to the end of our Life is Strange series on my channel, at least until Season 2 comes out, uh, which I don't know really when, when that will be, but please let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you guys thought and what you um, thought about how Max handled the situation of saying, like, I'm moving uh, to Chloe. Because I know it's something difficult people like people can't handle like those kind of situations so oh god anyway if you guys enjoyed this video enjoyed me fucking crying please leave a like and subscribe to join the companions and if you would like to help support the channel on patreon the link is in the description you can also support the channel for free with gawkbox.com slash a girl and a game all you have to do is make an account open it up on mobile download the games to play them and then you will donate real money to the channel uh, which will help me continue making videos like this and continue the channel overall. And I know people are going to ask me if I'm going to do any, like, analysis theory videos. Um, I did say I'm not, I wasn't sure if I was going to do one for the bonus episode because I don't think there's m much more I can say from all the analysis videos and theory videos I've done already. But if I do find something, maybe I'll do an analysis video for, like, the symbolism, like, around the episode, if you guys want that. Um, but yeah, this was just too much for me. Anyway... I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! What makes a great video game is the story, but when there's a tragedy involved, it makes the player that much more invested in it. Whether it's to move the story forward or develop another character, video game deaths can be tragic. Here are six sad character deaths from video games. Roman, Grand Theft Auto 4.